Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, here we go. So, um, 90 day challenge, 90 day journey. I'm excited. It's been an amazing 24 hours. And I say that every time I get on here, and some of you guys got to be sick and tired of hearing it. And if you are, then you guys are probably pretty negative people. So I'm talking to the positive people right now. I want to tell you a story. Um, I'm talking about opportunity and I'm talking about taking action. I'm talking about believing in something. I'm talking about uh, uh, taking a chance. I'm talking about making some sacrifices, okay? So here we go. We're back in 1975, and there's a guy, his name is Chuck Wepner. Okay, he's a, a, a down and out, I don't want to say down and out, but he won his like eight of his last 11 boxing matches, but he'd already been beat by George Foreman. So anyway, he gets an offer to fight the champion, Muhammad Ali. Okay, the most money he was ever going to win. This was $100,000, okay, mind you. And Muhammad Ali was going to win one point some million dollars. So he takes this opportunity, and everybody thought he was stupid to do so. So he takes this opportunity, not just for money, but because he thinks he has a chance to win. So he started focusing all of his time, all of his energy in training, and he's never been able to do so before. He was a journeyman boxer before, so, so anyway, he's got all this time to train, and he said, this is going to happen. So here he goes, gets in a fight, Muhammad Ali, 1975, they're going all of a sudden, Boom, reaches out with a big, huge left hand and drops the champion in the ninth round. He goes back to his corner and tells Al to start the car. We're going to be millionaires. And I was like, well, you better turn around because he's getting back up and he looks mad. He didn't say that, but he cussed a little bit. But anyway, so he gets back up and here we are. And all uh, Muhammad Ali tore into him for the next four or five rounds. Cut his eye open in like 19 seconds in the fifth, in the fifth round, Wepner dropped, referee called it a TKO, of course, Muhammad Ali won, but that wasn't the end. So listen, he had an opportunity to make something for himself. He lost, but in the meantime, it was the most money he's ever had. He had a couple movies come from this. He took this opportunity and he ran with it, okay? There's going to be a, I think they were going to make a story about him. I think ESPN was going to make a story about him. That's not the story. Check this out. A thousand miles away, there's a guy watching a brand new TV screen. Okay, just got it. He's a struggling actor by the name of Sylvester Stallone. And he had an idea a while back about having this, a boxer, come up from nothing, a nobody, a nothing. He never thought it was possible. Watching this movie, he thought it was possible. He grabbed the pen, he started writing down. And in three days' time, he had the script to Rocky, went on to win three awards, one was a best picture. This is where he started becoming a multi-millionaire actor from this one opportunity. He saw this, took action, and did it. You know how many people I say is gonna write a book? I said this, I've never written a book, why? Because I didn't even start to write one page. So let me tell you another story. This is about opportunity. This guy's name is Robert Allen. He's a financial guru for real, real estate. And there's a whole story behind this, and I'll tell you what he did. He went up against a, a newspaper and fought them, and, and he actually beat this newspaper, and he, he proved them that his system works. But they didn't say it was enough, so he had to prove it was going to work with somebody else. And so he actually held, he, he even got a hold of that, I think it was the mayor of St. Louis, he even got a hold of him, he made 1,200 flyers and handed it out in an unemployment line, okay, unemployment line, handed out 1,200 flyers for this seminar, all right, they got 300 chairs set up for this seminar, waiting for all these people to come in, 50, 50 people came in for this opportunity to shape, these guys are an unemployment line, now I'll tell you something, that's a whole other conversation, not taking the opportunity for this, but that tells you what our economy is right there. Only 50 people showed up. And then after they took the first break, there was only a handful of people left that understood that there was going to be some work involved. But he was promising them a whole new life for their family. All they had to do is take a little extra work. When it was all boiled down to it, he only had three... Three families left, three couples left that he went through, and he promised them that in the end of first month, he was going to have somebody had $5,000 in the bank, and he did. Not only that, they had made hundreds of, they made over $100,000 that first year, one couple did. So I'm having a challenge for you guys tonight, okay? But I don't want to think you guys, don't, do not think that this is too old, okay? Or that you are too old for this. Let me tell you a personal story. So um, I'm 30, I'm 30 years old when I decided, Hmm, I think I'm going to become a fighter. I'm going to become a professional fighter. I've never even started to live my life. <clears throat> I didn't even live my life till I was 25 years old. I finally went out to achieve one dream. I went to California. I mean, I, I, there's a whole story I'd love to tell you. I, I will have a book because I'm going to start writing them down. 
this is this is the story about my fighting. Uh, I started training, and I started training hard because I had a focus on this. Everybody thought I was stupid to do this. They couldn't understand why I'd want to do this. I can't explain it. I talked to you about how Rocky said I got a boost inside. I had a beast inside. I'm 30 years old, mind you. I've never done this before. I've done Taekwondo training before. And then I started grappling a little bit. I started training with the Militich fight team. So I had my very first fight lasted 16 seconds. That's where I got my nickname, Tasmanian Devil. Everybody thought, said I was too old, that I didn't know enough of this, and I didn't do this. I had my next fight. Boom, TKO. Beat this dude down. He ended up becoming one of my great friends. Fought for me. I prayed for him in his fight. My next fight. Won that fight. Finally got my submission. I beat a wrestler with a submission. Got another fight. TKO. One after another after another. I'm 7-0, the number one heavyweight fighter. Who'd have thought that? Just like that, because I had focus, I had determination, and I wasn't going to listen to anybody tell me how I was going to fail. Let's fast forward, okay? I want to tell you something right now. I want to tell you scripture. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9, he goes, This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Do not be afraid. Stop being afraid. You have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. So this is my challenge for you, okay? My challenge for you is this. I've already personally sponsored three people, three people locally, because I can be hands on them. I've personally sponsored three of them, and in 30 days from tomorrow, you're going to see a video on their progress. I've personally financially sponsored three people locally, and I'm going to work with them for the next 90 days. And I cannot wait to show you the life change that these guys have, not just physically and not just financially, but spiritually. Their lives are changing already just by the fact that they are starting to believe in themselves, okay? So this is my challenge to you, and I'm throwing out this. I couldn't even stop thinking today. I had this idea. I was at the gym today. I started writing down, and I started journaling today, and it's crazy. So this is my idea. You email me right now, kirbymma at gmail.com. You email me. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take five people from these emails, only five, okay? If I have more time in the future, but I will. I'm going to take five people from these emails, and all you've got to do is commit to me financially, commit to me, commit to me spiritually, and commit to me physically. I'm going to ask you of a few things, and you're going to go through an interview process. Now, I don't care how old you are unless you're, you've got to be over 18 years old, but I don't care where you're from, what you're like, what you've done. I don't care about your past. All I care about is what you see your future is going to be. That's what I care about. I'm going to talk to you on the phone. We're going to talk by email. I'm going to prepare you and I'm going to make a trip to wherever you live. I'm going to come out there and fly out and I'm going to have you prepared for the time when I fly out there. I'm going to stay with you, teach you the ways, and I'm going to have you in 90 days completely change. Here's the deal, 30 days. If you don't have your money back in 30 days, I'm going to pay for your money back. You have nothing to lose nothing to lose. You have absolutely have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Everything. I'm standing on stage this weekend, getting my picture taken with this guy. This guy's standing right next to me and I whispered in his ear, I said, the only reason why I'm getting my picture taken is because I wanted to touch a millionaire. This guy is a multi-millionaire. And this is what he said. He goes, if I'm talking right here, okay, pretend I'm talking. Will you listen to this guy? If I'm going to introduce you to somebody right now. And this guy, he's a multimillionaire. This guy has built a very financial, successful company. This guy has made millionaires underneath of him. This guy has built companies and businesses. And would you listen to this guy? Okay, he steps back in. He says, now this is what I'm going to tell you to do. This is what I, I need you to do this. And he said, said specifically what he wants us to do. Now, I'm going to tell you specifically, this is what I want you to do, okay? If you want to do this, number one, you can do this on your own, and I'm still going to help you every step of the way, okay? I'm still going to help you guys, but I'm going to personally, personally handle five people as close as I can and take you under my wing, five people. you got to commit to me financially, spiritually, and physically, and I guarantee you life change, physical change, and financial change in 30 days are your money back, okay? You're going to email me in 90 days. Your whole world is going to be different. They go from, like I said before, Tony Robbins goes from 36,000 in one year to 1 million. This couple goes from zero, losing their home. I've met this couple. They went from zero, losing their, absolutely losing their home, rented out rooms in their home, okay? Selling their designer clothes, and they went to make $30,000 a month. You know, I said that to somebody. I told somebody $10,000. I just said you can make ten because you can. I'm not talking about if it's a possibility. It's not just 
a possibility. It's the possibility. It's the number one product to battle the number one epidemic and the number one home-based business. I don't know how clear can I get. I mean, come on. And I say, here's a possibility. And I was told, you can't tell people that. You can't tell people and get them all, get them all excited, get them all. I want you to dream. I'm going to say, get excited. I'm going to say, you have an opportunity right now to change your life. It's up to you to do it. It's up to you. I can't sit by and watch it every time. I have people calling me. This is great. I love these questions. And then you're going to tell me, I don't know if I can. Can I go without my Diet Coke? Yes, you can. If you want to make a change, it's up to you. How, unless you're comfortable sitting on your couch, okay? Unless you're comfortable sitting on your couch, just go ahead. Nothing's going to change your life. If you want any change, fine, change. There's nothing that you can do about the national economy, but there's something you can do about your personal economy. And I'm going to challenge you right now. Go to my website, in Kirby. That's K I R B Y, in Kirby. Dot body by vi. Dot com or dot my vi. Dot net. I'm going to give you my website again, KirbyMMA at gmail.com. You email me. We start talking back and forth. You're going to have my phone number. I'm coming. Um, I've got uh, three states I need to head out to, and I'm going to be doing interviews. I'm doing challenge parties when I get there. I'm so excited. I love this opportunity to share with you guys. You feel I'm jazzed, and it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. So God bless you guys so much. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll, I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.